Hi, I'm Joe, Jim's wife. And I've been working with him on the balance rider from the start because I really care about the horses. And I see extraordinary value in this, in making the horses' lives better. I see where riders don't have to torment their horses while learning to balance, while getting a better seat, while getting greater core strength. They can ride the balance rider and watch TV and have a glass of wine and then go get on their horses and give those horses a better experience. The better we ride, the less we hang on horses' mouths, the less we bounce on their shoulders, the less we bounce on their kidneys, the happier those horses are, the better their experience is, and the better their performance is. And furthermore, we can save some money on supplements and vet bills and special shoeing that are requirements only because we ride poor. Shoot, Alicia. Two of my biggest weaknesses when I ride is I have really tense legs. Sure. And I tend to lean to the left. Okay. Sit on my left pocket um, more. So when I'm doing the balanced rider, I can't stay centered if I have tight legs or if I'm leaning. And so, and I've noticed it transition into my riding and help my horse and help keep her shoulders square, which is what we seem to have a big, our biggest issue with. And really, how does that make you feel as far as what's going on between you and your horse? Much better. Yeah. I can go through a pattern and get the results that I'm wanting. While I know she can do it, I'm affecting her so she can't do it. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Well, pretty soon you'll be able to spin 360 <laughs> at like about 180 RPM. It'll help our spins. It, it will definitely help <laughs> our spins. We'll, we'll work and we'll get to that. Perfect. Thank you very much. The Balance Rider radically improves your core strength, i.e. your stabilizers, those muscles along your spinal cord that there's no other way to strengthen them other than to destabilize them. The only way to destabilize them is to add a radical aspect of balance. So that's what we're doing and we're taking your feet, your ankles and your hips out of the way. Drives everything right to your spinal column and it makes everything responsible, everything that's responsible for keeping your balance is from your hips to your heart, that very short 12 inches. Secondly, I would say that there's not a single thing that you can do for yourself that's more beneficial for you and your horse while you're off your horse than sit on the balance rider. And maybe you can just explain a little bit on what it's done for you as a rider. Okay. Um, the balance rider at the expo and trying it is, was a piece of equipment that I had never experienced anything like it before. I'm a body awareness uh, junkie as far as I do Pilates and I find out about yoga and I'm always trying to figure out how I can use my body better uh, to be a better rider how can I stay out of the way and then also stay physically fit I've worked on a bunch of other machines that have come out for horseback riding or for balance trying to find that um, the balance rider what the biggest thing for me was was feeling how I had to relax even more. I'm sure. a pretty relaxed rider. I'm not necessarily worried about the horses uh, running off with me or anything like that. And through the centered riding, I've, I've learned how to loosen uh, my joints and, and have tone in my body. But the amount of relaxation in that core balance on the balance rider, you couldn't fake it. So really sinking down into, into your seat. I'm feeling my seat and then also being able to you know, lift my heart and be, have length in my spine without having muscular tension. Sure. And uh, I know I'm physically strong, but it was the relaxation piece that you just can't do that and you can't fake it. And then the next piece was... Uh... Jim Louder again with Balance Rider, and I'm here with Andy Kurtz. A uh, couple things that I'd like you to know about Andy is Andy was very instrumental at the very beginning of me developing this project. Um, I needed somebody who had his kind of credibility, his kind of background, so 
some time ago, what was it, two years ago or so, yeah. I got Andy one of my prototypes and asked for his input, and he's been very vital from that standpoint and uh, helping me go through this. No, I love it. I <laughs> yeah. really did love it because um, I sat in front of my TV yep. and I watched my TV. And, um, you know, America wants something where they don't have to work. Passive. But they're working at Yep, absolutely. And that's what it ended up being for me because I could sit there and watch TV and not do anything. But I actually was doing something. Right. Now, I didn't, I couldn't do that right away. Right. Um, I used to ride bucking horses, and now I ride a lot of performance horses. And so for me, the seat, and it's been drummed into my head since I worked for Craig Cameron, right. the seat was the most important part when I'm riding my horses. And if you sit right on the balance rider, you're sitting right on your horse. Excellent. And there's, there's no difference. Right. So And I'm here today with Dr. Russ Sanford, chiropractor. And what I'm going to ask him today, hopefully, is just to get his thought process on the balance rider. To me, the balance rider is, is, a, is a tool that is a, and, and may turn out to be an extremely important tool in creating spinal stabilization. Sure. And spinal stabilization, um, I like the term stabilization better than core muscles. Core muscles define a whole bunch of muscles. But what we're really trying to get after is stabilizing the spine. Sure. And the only way that you're ever going to exercise these stabilizing muscles of the spine is if you exercise them in a destabilized environment. Destabilize the stabilizer. Exactly. So we can put people on balance pads, on gym balls, therapy balls, or whatever. And when Balance Rider came along, I looked at that and went, wow, there's another unstable platform that we can utilize to put this patient in an unsteady place mm -hmm. and yet importantly put their what we call it a neutral spine we can put their spine with the appropriate curve in the lower back and the appropriate curve in the neck in other words where their spine is supposed to be sure and then challenge it and ask the spine to react to the fact that it's in this unstable way on balance rider and they get to the point where they can balance themselves with them their feet not touching the ground right. for extended periods of time. The only way you pull that off is by using the proprioceptors and the stabilizing muscular control of what's left, right. which is from the pelvis up. Right from the pelvis the to, to the thoracic area, right to that core area. Exactly. Core. Right. And it about being about to stabilize along either side of the spine. Exactly. And that muscle that is actually called the multifidus, which has been um, researched extensively over the last 10 years and it has been shown to be kind of the stabilizing muscle of the spine. Right.